The starting point of all achievement is desire. Keep this constantly in mind. Weak desire brings weak results, just as a small fire makes a small amount of heat. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. You are the master of your destiny. You can influence, direct and control your own environment. You can make your life what you want it to be. When defeat comes, accept it as a signal that your plans are not sound, rebuild those plans, and set sail once more toward your coveted goal. If you can't do great things, do small things in a great way. Do not wait, the time will never be just right. Start where you stand, and work whatever tools you may have at your command and better tools will be found as you go along. Before success comes in any man's life, he is sure to meet with much temporary defeat, and, perhaps, some failure. When defeat overtakes a man, the easiest and most logical thing to do is to quit. That is exactly what the majority of men do. More than 500 of the most successful men this country has ever known told the author their greatest success came just one step beyond the point at which defeat had overtaken them. Set your mind on a definite goal and observe how quickly the world stands aside to let you pass. When your desires are strong enough, you will appear to possess superhuman powers to achieve. The way of success is the way of continuous pursuit of knowledge. Every adversity, every failure, every heartache carries with it the seed of an equal or greater benefit. You may be hurt if you love too much, but you will live in misery if you love too little. A quitter never wins and a winner never quits. The man who does more than he is paid for will soon be paid for more than he does. Happiness is found in doing, not merely possessing. Our only limitations are those we set up in our own minds. An educated man is not, necessarily, one who has an abundance of general or specialized knowledge. An educated man is one who has so developed the faculties of his mind that he may acquire anything he wants, or its equivalent, without violating the rights of others. Every adversity, every failure, every heartbreak, carries with it the seed of an equal or greater benefit. More gold had been mined from the mind of men than the earth itself. A goal is a dream with a deadline. Opinions are the cheapest commodities on earth. Everyone has a flock of opinions ready to be wished upon anyone who will accept them. If you are influenced by opinions, when you reach decisions, you will not succeed in any undertaking. We refuse to believe that which we don't understand. Cherish your vision and your dreams as they are the children of your soul, the blueprints of your ultimate achievements. I will eliminate hatred, envy, jealousy, selfishness, and cynicism, by developing love for all humanity, because I know that a negative attitude toward others can never bring me success. I will cause others to believe in me, because I will believe in them, and in myself. To win the big stakes in this changed world, you must catch the spirit of the great pioneers of the past, whose dreams have given to civilization all that it has of value, the spirit that serves as the lifeblood of our own country, your opportunity and mine, to develop and market our talents. Wise men, when in doubt whether to speak or to keep quiet, give themselves the benefit of the doubt, and remain silent. Hold a picture of yourself long and steadily enough in your mind's eye, and you will be drawn toward it. If you must speak ill of another, do not speak it. Put your foot upon the neck of the fear of criticism by reaching a decision not to worry about what other people think, do, or say. When you are able to maintain your own highest standards of integrity, regardless of what others may do, you are destined for greatness. There is a difference between wishing for a thing and being ready to receive it. No one is ready for a thing, until he believes he can acquire it. The state of mind must be belief, not mere hope or wish. Open-mindedness is essential for belief. One who has loved truly, can never lose entirely. Love is whimsical and temperamental. Its nature is ephemeral and transitory. It comes when it pleases and goes away without warning. Accept and enjoy it while it remains, but spend no time worrying about its departure. Worry will never bring it back. Perhaps we shall learn, as we pass through this age, that the other self is more powerful than the physical self we see when we look into a mirror. 
There are no limitations to the mind except those that we acknowledge. If you do not conquer self, you will be conquered by self. Those who succeed in an outstanding way seldom do so before the age of 40. More often, they do not strike their real pace until they are well beyond the age of 50. Tell the world what you intend to do, but first show it, this is the equivalent of saying, deeds, and not words, are what count most. You've got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win a prize. Remember, too, that all who succeed in life get off to a bad start and pass through many heartbreaking struggles before they arrive. The turning point in the lives of those who succeed usually comes at some moment of crisis through which they are introduced to their other selves. Neglecting to broaden their view has kept some people doing one thing all their lives. Persistence is to the character of man as carbon is to steel. A genius is simply one who has taken full possession of his own mind and directed it toward objectives of his own choosing, without permitting outside influences to discourage or mislead him. If you are not learning while you're earning, you are cheating yourself out of the better portion of your compensation. Any ideas, plan, or purpose may be placed in the mind through repetition of thought. Remember that it is not the lawyer who knows the most law, but the one who best prepares his case, who wins. If you must speak ill of another, do not speak it, write it in the sand near the water's edge. The strongest oak of the forest is not the one that is protected from the storm and hidden from the sun. It's the one that stands in the open where it is compelled to struggle for its existence against the winds and rains and the scorching Sunday. First comes thought, then organization of that thought, into ideas and plans, then transformation of those plans into reality. The beginning, as you will observe, is in your imagination. Remember that your dominating thoughts attract, through a definite law of nature, by the shortest and most convenient route, their physical counterpart. Be careful what your thoughts dwell upon. Desire is the starting point of all achievement, not a hope, not a wish, but a keen pulsating desire which transcends everything. Most great people have attained their greatest success just one step beyond their greatest failure. If you believe yourself unfortunate because you have loved and lost, perish the thought. One who has loved truly, can never lose entirely.